Welcome to another introduction on Chef Courier. In this demonstration, we'll look at a scenario where Courier will leverage the flexibility on actions performed for a task based on given conditions. These conditions can either be provided from the node itself or from external sources. The three fundamental dimensions Chef Courier are built upon are the whatever, which defines the actions that are required to complete a task, the wherever, the where and how jobs should be run with the ability to control the distribution and blast radius, and the whenever, providing the advanced scheduling of jobs. Combined, Chef Courier provides a scalable and optimized orchestration solution for the enterprise. This demonstration is focused on the whatever dimension with Courier's ability to provide complete and exceptional control over the actions within a job. In this example, there's just a single node in which we need to determine whether Git should be installed. This determination should be provided from the asset management solution, which controls the applications that are allowed or restricted. This interaction will be achieved through a very simple example of an API request. The courier job will simply do the API request to the ITAM system to determine whether or not Git is approved. If the condition is set to false, the job will exit. But if the condition is set to true, it'll continue with the installation on node one. Looking at the job, the schedule is set to start immediately, and we have our group set up with just a single node listed. The actions are broken out into a few steps. The first step will do the API request to the following URL to determine the approval for the GET installation. Here we see, by looking at the results returned from the ITAM system, the action to install GET is set to false. So looking at the condition, if it's set to false, we should just exit the job. Looking down a bit further, when the API returns the status value of true, we will run the installation. Using the create job command and the path to the JSON, we see the job kicked off and using the list job instances, we see straight away that there's a status of failure. Looking at the details using the run ID, we see the reason was due to the git install status being retrieved as false. After getting the necessary approval, we were granted permission to install Git on node one since we now see the status is set to true. So running the same action chaining JSON courier job and looking into the detail of the instance runs, we can see the status is successful. Now running the Git version command, we now have version 2.40.1 installed. Well, thank you for watching this demonstration of Chef Courier. And hopefully it exposed the business value of not only interacting with the nodes that are under management, but its ability to integrate with other solutions that run within your infrastructure today.